we're spending a lot of times with cities to really listen and understand their challenges. And some of their challenges revolve around the fact that the different modes of public transportation in a city or even individual cars in the city are optimized for their own journeys. So bus lines, think about optimizing for bus lines. Same with trains. Or even individual cars driving down the road are, are optimizing as they drive for their own journey. Nobody's really thinking about piecing together the entire journey for the benefit of the human who's on the journey, but also to reduce the um, congestion and increase the flow in a city. So here's an example. My son lives in New York City, and often they don't have a car. And so often to go anywhere, we need to take a few modes of transportation. And the modes may vary based on where we're going, time of day, what the weather's like, if we want to go directly to our destination, or we may need to pick up a gift, or maybe we need to get some coffee, or we need to drop off some dry cleaning. And so by using data, and on top of this platform we've described, we can make the journey meaningful for you at that point in time. So maybe some days it's raining, like it is here in Vegas today, and you want to take the fastest route so you can stay out of the rain. Some days you have an errand to run, so you may want to take a different route. And what the data that we're, we would be collecting working with the city would do is allow us to make choices. So we're optimizing that journey the best way for that human. And by doing that, by looking at the whole city in harmony, we also, the city wins because it helps the flow of the entire city.